It's finally that time of year again where we get a peek at the spectacular offerings right from the annual SHOT Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. Manufacturers from all over the firearm industry gather to showcase their newest products. Follow along with us today as we take a look at some of the best and most unique new guns right from the showroom floor. Number 12. Lionheart Vulcan $12 to $1400 The Lionheart Vulcan is the next evolution in the Lionheart offering, sliding in after the Regulus. This 9mm comes optics ready with support for the 407K, 507K, Shield RMSC, Trigicon, RMRCC and Sig Romeo Zero Elite footprints. No adapter plates required. In addition to the optics compatibility, the pistol ships with P365 dovetail sights that co-witness with most optics. An interesting addition to the pistol frame is the rapid engagement grip system, basically a pronounced thumb rest that helps shooters better control recoil as they shoot. Rounding out the notable features are two flush-fit 15-round mags made by Metgar. 10 and 18-round mags should be available soon too. If you want a cool upgrade, spring for the multi-tool base plate, which gives you a handy little multi-tool in the base plate of your mag. In total, the Vulcan will offer four models with prices ranging from $12 to $1,400. The pistol is expected to hit consumers in April 2023. Number 11. Palmetto State Armory STG44 $2,000 Retro guns are making a comeback, and one in particular caught our eye on the shot floor. PSA's STG-44 brings a classic look and feel to the reproduction genre. With four calibers to choose from, 5.56, 7.62x39, 300 BLK, and yes, the OG 8mm Kurs, the STG-44 represents the first in the company's upcoming battlefield gun lineup of classic military firearms. It accepts standard AR-15 mags or you can go full retro with the provided mags, which offer that retro look. A la the original, it sports stamp sheet metal but also incorporates a half by 28 and 5 8 by 24 threaded barrel up front if you want to add some modern accessories to it. MSRP is expected to be around $2,000 with a release date of later this year. Number 10 Gunworks Workman Rifle System $4,950 Yes, you too can afford a 1,000-yard Gunworks rifle, the long-range accuracy guru of a company dropped its new workman rifle at shot, and it includes all the features necessary for a rifle system to be up to par with the company's standards. It's just missing some extra bells and whistles that can jack up the price tag. It features a Gunworks Gen 1 Magnus carbon fiber stock that is ARCA compatible and a stainless Gunworks GLR receiver fitted with a custom Trigger Tech trigger and a Gunworks S30 stainless cut rifled barrel that's tipped with a Gunworks 2 baffle indexing directional muzzle brake. It comes with a Revic RS25 Workman 525x56 scope with a Revic RH2 MOA reticle and a custom BDC turret with yardage and MOA markings that are matched to the individual rifle ballistics and Hornady ELD match ammunition. All this adds up to a 1,000-yard performance for less than $5,000. The Workman rifle is available in 6.5 PRC, 7 PRC, and 300 PRC with the tan fracture camo finish on the stock. You can choose to have the rifle optimized for Hornady match ammo or Hornady precision hunter ammo. Number 9. Colt CBX Precision Rifle System $1,899 Colt has gone beyond the realm of AR platform rifles for the first time since its earliest firearms. At this price point, the new Colt CBX Precision Rifle is a great entry-level gun for people who want to get into precision shooting. The CBX is an advanced bolt-action chassis rifle that boasts features for today's competitive shooters. As such, it's also customizable to fit a shooter better and its modular design accommodates a wide array of aftermarket accessories like suppressors, weights, AICS mags and various optic mounts. The new CBX aluminum chassis has user-adjustable length of pull and cheek weld along with a 15-inch extended foreend featuring an ARCA rail, M-lock slots for accessories, and an aggressive barricade stop. The rifle also features an angled pistol grip, a built-in thumb shelf, QD sling cups, and an ambidextrous magazine release. The flat-bottom receiver reduces flex and improves accuracy, and the CBX's 60-degree bolt throw allows for faster cycling and great compatibility with a wide array of optics. A use-adjustable trigger rounds out the package behind a carbon steel button-rifled barrel. The 6.5 Creedmoor model has a 26-inch barrel, while the 308 version comes with a 24-incher. Both have 5.8 to 24 UNEF threaded muzzles and a black nitride finish. The CBX also comes with Remington 700 compatible scope mounts and a 5-round Magpul AICS mag. Number 8. Bergara B14 Squared Crest, $2,000 
Spanish gunmaker Bergara introduced a new line of its flagship rifles called the B-14 Squared Crest. What separates it from other B-14 rifles is the new monocoque stock. According to the company, high-tech processes were used to manufacture the 100% carbon fiber stock, which is then topped off with hand-injected resin. The biggest takeaway, though, is the carbon spine that runs throughout the stock and makes it nearly indestructible. Besides the stock, the Bergara B14 squared crest features a 4140 CRMO steel precision barrel with 5/8 inch by 24 threading on the muzzle, and it also includes a Bergara Omni muzzle brake, an AICS style 3 to 5 round mag, and a sniper gray Cerakote finish. All models come with a 20 inch barrel except for the 300 Win mag, which comes with a 22 inch barrel and weighs 6.9 pounds. According to Bergara's website, the B14 squared crest is available in stores now. Number 7. Smith & Wesson M&P 5.7 $699 5.7x28mm is gaining traction, and now Smith & Wesson has entered the chat with the new M&P 5.7. The pistol follows the familiar M&P design, but with the added benefit of being the thinnest 5.7 on the market. It's got all the modern features you could want, including an optics-ready slide, threaded barrel half by 28 and flat face trigger. The M&P 5.7 uses an internal hammer fire design with a gas-operated locked breech rotary tempo. Capacity sits at 22 plus 1 and will ship with two mags. Spare mags are expected to be priced around $30. MSRP is $699 for both the thumb safety and no thumb safety versions, but street prices will likely rest around $650. Number 6. Sig Sauer Rose TBA A collaboration with pro shooter Lena Misulik the Sig Sauer Rose brings an interesting option to female shooters. While our editor-in-chief was initially skeptical of the pink aesthetics, there are other colors y'all just saying. The more we dug into this package, the more we liked what Sig had to offer. The premise of the Rose is you get everything you need to start your firearms journey all in one package. P365 380 Rose 380 ACP or P365 XL Comp Rose 9mm, two mags, dummy rounds for training, Voltec Life Pod pistol safe, magazine loader, and even access to online training series with Lena Misulek. We also really like that it comes with both dummy rounds and a pistol safe to help new shooters train and safely store firearms, plus online training videos with Lena Misulek. Sign us up! All in all, this will be an excellent package for newer shooters interested in home defense or carry. No word yet on price. Number 5. Henry Repeating Arms H27 Homesteader PCC $928 to $959 Henry Repeating Arms is best known for its lever-action rifles, both classic and modern models. The company has had only one semi-automatic rifle in its catalog, the Odd Man Out 22 LR AR7 survival rifle, but that's all changed. Henry showed off its new semi-auto H27 Homesteader pistol caliber carbine in 9mm at shot. The carbine is fully ambidextrous, with a 16.5-inch threaded barrel that was sporting a suppressor for this year's industry day at the range. It has a traditional woodstock and forend and comes with a rear peep sight, but the receiver is drilled and tapped for an optics rail. The tang-mounted manual safety, something hardly any Henry Firearms has, is similar to what you'd find on a Mossberg 500 shotgun. The bolt catches on both sides of the trigger guard and the mag release is also centrally located. The homesteader accepts Henry's proprietary mags but there are also adapters available for 9mm Glock mags, SIG P320 mags, or Smith & Wesson M&P mags with unincluded magwell adapter. The gun will be shipped with either an adapter for Henry mags, for Glocks, or with an adapter that works for both SIG and s &W mags. The only problem is the price. It's pretty steep for a 9mm PCC at $928. It's $959 if you want a non-Henry mag version. The Homesteader is expected to ship on February 1. Number 4. Beretta 80X Cheetah $799 Beretta has introduced a new 380 pistol with the company's classic style as part of its resurrected Cheetah line of compact pistols. The new Beretta 80X Cheetah features design updates and enhanced features, along with new ergonomics that align with modern concealed carry handgun standards. The pistol includes a smaller Vertex-style grip profile, an Extreme S double single trigger with a 1mm reset, a skeletonized hammer, and a solid 13 plus 1 capacity. And like all new carry guns do these days, the new Cheetah is optics ready. Beretta says the slide is easier to rack and recoil has been reduced thanks to tuning of the slide weight and spring rates combined with the 380 chambering. Out of the gate, 
Beretta is offering the ADX Cheetah in an assortment of color options, including limited edition multi-tone variants. The Vertec grip includes a frame-mounted safety and an accessory rail for a light or laser. Number 3. Canik Meat MC9 439.99 Canik's popular meat handgun line has entered the micro-pistol arena with a new MC9. According to Canik, the MC9 has been in development for three years. In that time, the tiny semi-auto has undergone several internal and aesthetic changes to achieve the right feel and function for concealed carriers. The new Canik Meat MC9 sports a 12 plus 1 flush mag, although users can opt for an extended mag for a boosted 15 plus 1 capacity, on part with the original SIG P365. The MC9's overall length is just a hair over 6 inches, and it is an ultra-slim 1.12 inches wide, making this pint-sized pistol super easy to conceal. Tipping the scales at just over 21 ounces, the MC9 is just a smidge heavier than the single-stack Glock 43, but provides twice the capacity. Each optic-ready MC9 comes with two mags, three grip back straps, an IWB holster and speed loader, a finger extension base plate, and a cleaning kit. The Meat MC9 will be available in standard black, flat dark earth, and two-tone black earth. Number 2. FN America, FN545, and FN510, $1,139 With the FN545 and FN510, the designers at FN America do three main things. First, they expand their tactical pistol line, which started with the FN509 pistol, to include 45 ACP and their first ever 10mm handgun. Second, the handguns come with extended magazines, so you not only get to carry a big bore cartridge, but you can also carry 22 rounds of 10mm or 18 rounds of 45. Third, both handguns come decked out with all the tactical features you'd want in a tactical gun. Things like optics cut slide and a threaded barrel. Number 1. Gunsight Glock Service Pistol $1,274.99 A special G45 was officially released on January 16 at the 2023 SHOT Show Industry Day at the range event. The new Davidson's exclusive Gunsight Glock Service Pistol is available exclusively through Davidson's and the Gunsight Academy Pro Shop. The pistol was designed in conjunction with the folks at Gunsight Academy and includes several custom features. A red dot sight, the Holosun HE509T RDX2, is mounted directly to the slide with no plate in between for a more rock-solid mount. The pistol is also fitted with Ameriglow suppressor height sights that can co-witness with the Holosun, an FBI rounded mag release that's bigger than a stock release but not competition size, and a lanyard loop, which is a gun sight must. Inside is the Glock factory minus connector, which reduces the trigger pull weight to about 4.5 pounds. The top of the slide is engraved with the gun sight logo and the Academy's signature Raven. Glock also released the new G20 Gen 5 Moss, G21 Gen 5 Moss, and the G47 Moss is now available for civilians to purchase. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.